it's holiday time so it's the sarong time not to have one of these wondering what to do with them i'm going to show you how to make a play suit some trousers a halter neck dress all using this let's fold our sarong this is where it could get a bit complicated so I'm going to be very slow with this so this one we're going to make um, a long butterfly coat so find the inside right we know that's the inside so fold, hold it out lengthways fold it in half Get these two corners, fold it in half again. Now we knot the open sides, so we open knot these two, and we knot them sturdily. Not big, not a big knot, but a sturdy knot, because this knot has got to be strong. See, I'm taking more time with this because this has got to be absolutely strong. And now we open. And we have our butterfly. And we can see there are two holes. These are the holes we're going to put our arms through. So the first way we can do it is to have the flaps open at the front. Covering my microphone. I've got my microphone. Put it on my. Put it here. Hopefully, you're still here. There we go. Now, you can leave it like this, and it's a very elegant long waistcoat. Or you can just tuck it around like that find yourself find yourself a belt one of my nursery belts I always have them And because it's secure, we now have a, a little short dress. See? It's, it's very short, cute. We can also take this off. We can also wear this dress the other way around. Take this off, put the butterfly to the front, let's find our corners.
and wrap them again and then put the belt on for a different look beautiful We're going to make now so a bottom and a play suit. So two versions. So the first thing we're going to do is decide which is the inside. Label. That's handy. If you are a larger lady like me, you do need a really big sarong. If you could get one bigger than this. I would, the biggest available, because this was the biggest that was available when I went to Hawaii. So we folded it in half. This is where I learned all this. Then we fold it in half again. Yeah, so we fold it. And now we knot securely the two, op these two op the open ends. We knot them together, knot the two sides together. Right. Doesn't have to be a big knot, but it has to be a secure knot. Mm. Now let's make her open it up. <gasps> Yay! And we've got our two holes. Obviously, you can wear it on the top, but we're not today, we're wearing it as a bottom. So. We're gonna pop our legs through here. Right leg. God, when I did this last time, it was so easy. Because it's got suddenly it's got darker. Left leg. So our legs are through the hole. Now we pull it up. Right, to do the trouser, all we have to do is get one side, wrap it around, so we can just wrap it around. If you were, if you were skinnier, you could do you could just do that. But I'm not, and I'm going to be using a belt. So you wrap it around. It's really dark. We're going to have some massive rainfall. Then you wrap this round again. And you tuck it in. Right, you can leave it like that if you're feeling like it's going to stay. And you've got like jeans, you've got like um, a, a fong belt or something, you can tuck it in. Uh, I'm wearing a slip, so I could technically just tuck it into the belt of my slip, but I'm not going to. I'm going to add this, as I always like to add an extra secure belt. Now these, these are not going to fall anywhere. They are secure. So if I do that, yep, trousers, armless. Yeah. We stopped to take photographs of myself in this. So now we're going to make it into the play suit. So I'm taking this belt off. Take this out. And while we get these together, the fronts, we pull this up over our boobies. 
Hopefully I'm not going to disturb the microphone. But it happened last time and it turned itself off. So I had to do it again. So we get this. We decide which side is going to be over. We're going to have this side. We wrap, pull it over. Pull it. Get as much as we can. And then twist. Now if you're a smaller lady, you can just not. And, and then do the extra bit. You can just not. As long as you twist, twist that so that it's secure. And then you can just knot. Knot around. Just make that into a knot. So we just show you the knot first. Then you just knot it. It's cute, but I don't feel secure with it like this. So I'm going to undo the knot. You could leave it like that, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not leaving it as a knot. So I'm going to just do the twist thing because I know that does not fall down. So we gather it as much as we can. We do one twist. And then we just tie it like a halter neck. Oh, so cute. It's really cute. I love it. I do like this one. This is, this is actually my favourite and it's so cute. Look at that. You can't see anything. Oopsie. Yeah. You are secure. This is why I twist because I'm tall and I need the length. And you can obviously put your belt round, dress it up. done. If you're wondering how I travel with these up because they are so big, you can just do them flat and put them at the back of your suitcase, which I'll show you in another video. Or you can just roll them up small into like a little flat fold. So I've shown you in um, the towel folding how to do a basic flat fold with a with one with one tuck pocket um, it was too big just folded in, into three so I folded it in half again I mean obviously I could fold it into three three again on top of that three first three but I did not going to so I just roll this all the way out to the top until it meets the pocket here and then flip this pocket over it put the roll the rolled up into the pocket sharp and you can put like little you can put uh, little beach fong and things in there as well if you want so you've got another that's a scarf so yeah so that's a way to pack these away and pack them for travel Good bye, mister. And you have found uses for your sarong. Hope you've enjoyed this little trip down sarong world, the sarong world, and enjoyed this little trip in Hawaii. Thank you for coming on the little journey with me. And go with glamour.